surging or is he slipping further from the pack? A new CNN poll out today shows the Texas congressman in a statistical tie with President Obama if they were to face off in a general election today. Now, this is pretty amazing. It comes after Paul finished a strong second in New Hampshire last week. But he is currently running third in South Carolina. He has fallen to fourth in Florida. And despite that challenge, Paul is on the trail today pushing his message. We need to look into the morality and the constitutionality of our monetary system, which means we have the full audit of the Fed and a new monetary system. Appealing to a wide range of voters, Paul has picked up considerable interest from young voters. And, you know, we've seen it. We were up in New Hampshire. We saw it there and just wondering why the love affair, the young with the oldest candidate. It's pretty amazing. Lisa Carr is a chapter leader with the Youth for Ron Paul at Clemson University. Paul Mazurik is a student activist at Fordham University. And Trip Davis is a chapter leader of Youth for Ron Paul at the University of Central Florida. So good to have all three of you with us. Really appreciate it. And um, you're going to, you know, make this clear for a lot of people watching who are older than you that may not understand the passion that you have for Ron Paul. So let me start with you, Paul. Why Ron Paul? What is it about him that makes you make calls, volunteer since the summer, read his book, sure. and like him so much? Well, I like Ron Paul because of his honesty, integrity, and respect for the Constitution the way the founders intended it. And he's also the only candidate with a plan to uh, restore America and to balance the budgets, which is the greatest problem facing youth today. Yeah. Also, I believe that... Uh, personal liberty, limited government, and sound money have made us the most prosperous and free society in the world. And Ron Paul's the only candidate with a plan to do this. Lisa, what about you? What makes you spend, as you said, hours and hours researching every candidate before you settled on Ron Paul and now spend a lot of your time door-to-door -door canvassing on his behalf? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as a college student, I know firsthand that the economy is our biggest issue right now. And Ron Paul's the only candidate with a clear plan to restore America's prosperity and uh, that's why I'm supporting him with all that I have. Trip, you? Uh, Ron Paul is the only uh, constitutional candidate. He, uh, and it's not just about running for office, not just about getting elected, it's about spreading a message. And uh, you can tell he's honest, you can tell when he speaks to his supporters, he's actually talking to them, he's not just trying to find the next sound bite. Or he actually, after New Hampshire, he was actually thanking his supporters. And uh, I really appreciated that, and uh, he's definitely gonna get my vote. So let me just ask each of you um, the, the, the question that people have that are skeptical of Ron Paul. They say, all right, get, get your passion for some of the things that you're saying. Uh, but cutting a trillion dollars in one year, getting rid of the Federal Reserve, and, and cutting all foreign policy entanglements is, is insanity. Uh, how do you respond to that, Lisa? Oh, well, um, I think that a lot of that talk about cutting all foreign policy ties isn't really correct. And that's not Ron Paul. That's not what he's advocating right now. And um, cutting a federal, the federal government's budget by a trillion dollars is essentially what we need right now. We need to stop spending money that's not going to get us out of debt. We need to face this debt crisis head on and deal with what we can right now. now Paul, what about you? What do you think about some of the? Are there some parts about Ron Paul that you say, okay, I don't really like that? No, I agree with his message. I think that mm -hmm. we need to uh, look into the Federal Reserve and restore accountability. And we need because this affects the regular people. Um, mm -hmm. The Federal Reserve has been, you know, they've been bailing out big banks and we, we Ron Paul had a partial audit of the Fed which allowed us to um, he was able to unite Democrats and Republicans to to audit the Fed and find out that they're bailing out Gaddafi and other countries and, and this is hurting the American people mm -hmm. the most all right Trip. let me ask you though because this is a crucial question for this election um, if not Ron Paul do you do you not vote at all I mean I'm trying to figure out what happens to passionate people like you all if he's not running do you vote for Barack Obama do you write do you write his name what do you do Oh, well, um, if Ron Paul doesn't get the nomination, then I'm probably going to write his name in. I mean, I've worked a long time on this campaign. He's, a, he's the person I want to be president of the United States. And uh, my vote doesn't belong to the Republicans or the Democrats. My vote belongs to me. And uh, I'm choosing to vote for Ron Paul. Would you hope he runs uh, as a third-party candidate, even if that means Barack Obama wins, Ron Paul does not win, and neither does the Republican nominee? Paul. No, and Ron Paul said countless amount of times that he will not run third party, and he has no intention of doing so. And it's, it's very important to remember that he ran as a congressman uh, 12 times with the Republican Party, and he's won. Mm -hmm. so, and he's running as a Republican for president, so I think his best shot is in the Republican Party, and that's the way he's going to run, and he's the only one that, that can win. Lisa, what do you think about what some might say is the irony of the fact that uh, you here you are at, at age 20, um, passionate about the oldest guy running this time, who would be the oldest president ever of the United States if he won. Well, what I think is that his message of liberty and uh, personal liberty and prosperity is one that's pretty young. I mean, our nation was founded on it. Um, it's a message that's been around for over 200 years, but it reaches out to the younger generation. Um, as 
as we know, as a lot of college students know, that we need to, um, in order to secure our futures, we need to look at, seriously at this economic crisis that we're in. And Ron Paul's the only candidate that's prepared to do that right now. All right. Well, Lisa Paul Tripp, thanks very much to all three of you. We appreciate your taking the time to explain how you feel. And uh, just uh, people are really happy to hear people so passionate about a candidate. Thanks. No problem. Thank you. All right. Now let's check in with Anderson. Anderson